According when you read it from the Old Testament, even the New Testament, it's really about the zodiac. It's not really about because I mean I, I'm not I'm not against what you guys are teaching, but if you really read your Bible, it's all about zodiacs. Explain that. Because when you read the Old Testament with Moses, he was in the time of the Taurus, and then he changed it, and then when Christ came on the scene, Christ. Um, he was really talking about five Jesus Christ, right? Yes, it was about the Pisces, and then it changed again. So okay, well, I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you. Where do you read Taurus in the Bible? Where do you read Pisces in the Bible? Read, read what you got, man. What you got? Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 11. Verse nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start, start at verse uh, nine. Yeah, yeah. Read that. With the Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 9 When thou art come into the land uh -huh. Which the Lord thy God giveth thee Thou shalt not learn To do after the abominations Of those nations So God has given us a rule A commandment, an order Don't learn the ways, the abominations Of the other nations So he's going to explain to us What abomination he was talking about Read on There shall not be found among you Anyone that maketh his son or his daughter uh -huh. to pass through the fire. Read on. Or that useth divination. So he said, don't sacrifice your kids. Don't use divination, witchcraft. Watch this. Or an observer of time. Or what? Or an observer of time. That's going into your zodiacs. Right. God says that's an abomination. Read verse 9 again. Right. When oh. thou art coming to the land. Oh. The hold on, hold on, because I know where you're going. But that's why I'm going to verse 9 again. Read verse 9 again. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Hold on, hold on, listen, listen. Hey, listen, listen. I know where you're going. That's why I went to back to verse 9. I already know where you're going. Read verse 9 again. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Because God is very specific. Read. Thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. God say, don't learn the ways of the nations. Right. So if we are not learning the ways of the nations, if we're learning of God, what do we learn of God's ways at? In the Bible. Right. So that means if he don't say, you gotta be a tourist, you gotta claim to be a tourist, right. you ain't supposed to be doing that. Right. That's the ways of the other nations. Right. We don't. That shall not be found among you. Anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. Or that useth divination. Or an observer of time. I said don't do that. Why? Because the other nations taught us to do that. Right. I, don't, I, don't, I don't get that. Get what? How could you not observe time? Okay, okay explain, explain, explain. Remember, look, remember, hold on, hold on, hold on. It ain't talking about that, brother. It's talking about, now give me Jeremiah 10. Right, right. Read, watch this. Right. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Bring it out. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen. Again, God says, Don't learn the way of the heathens. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Read that again. And be not dismayed at the signs of of heaven. Don't be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Right, That's right. where you get your Taurus from. Right. That's where you get your Pisces from. That's right. where, where you get your Leo from. Right. The signs of heaven, the stars and the constellations and all that stuff. God said don't do that. God said don't do that. <laughs> it's very specific. Like I said, God says don't, don't pay attention to the stars and all that stuff. Now you say, oh, the Bible is a Zodiac book. That's not in the Bible. Hold on, hold on. Well, one at a time. One at a time. One at a what should we observe? You want to know what, what should we observe? Why shouldn't we? Because God said don't do it. Because God said don't do it. <laughs> because you learn in the ways of the heathens and it's vain. That ain't gonna get you. Cap that ain't gonna get you uh, the kingdom. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead. Yeah, we are gonna read up. Go ahead. Oh, so he don't believe in the Bible. Go ahead. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 okay.
Okay, show me that. Okay, let's get that. Let's get that in the, what's that, Matthew 24? Let's get that. Let's see what Christ was saying. He wasn't saying observe the stars. We're going to show you what he was saying. Let's, what was that, Matthew 24? And verse, it says, um, yeah, read that. Matthew chapter 16, verse 2. And he answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It would be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it would be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. Are you hypocrites? You can discern the face of the sky, but can you not discern the signs of the time? What's that talking about? What's the signs of the times? Because remember, he said you can observe the face of the sky. The face of the sky, but you can't observe the times. What's the times you're talking about? Because remember, it's a, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Christ is making a difference between the sky and the times. So what's the times talking about? Hold on, oh, go, go ahead, answer me, go ahead. <laughs> about the people who were observing, it wasn't the time of the ice. If you know it's going to be raining, you can tell by the sky. If you know it's going to be you can tell by the time. Okay, let us know, sister. And the sign that was from the world, how you see how children are still there, people are still there, people are still there. You just said about the sign, the times. You said Christ observed the times. And we showing you what the times is talking about. Give me Matthew 24. This is what the times talking about, sister. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. What y'all got to understand is, y'all got to be retaught. Right. All the years of dangerous knowledge that we think we have, is not the knowledge of God. It is not the knowledge. Sister, this ain't Christianity. Right. Right. No, it's not. We tell you God only loved the Israelites. Right. We tell you that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people. Right. That ain't Christianity. Right. You will not ever hear that in Christianity that God, that Jesus was a black man. Right. You won't hear Christianity that every nation can't be saved. Right. You won't hear that. Don't get it twisted. Read. Matthew chapter 24 verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came up to him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign? Uh oh, what shall be the what? What shall be the sign of thy coming? The signs of the times is the same thing as the signs of Christ's coming. Right. He ain't talking about the doggone Pisces and Leo. Right. He ain't Libra. He ain't talking about that. Right. Read on. And of the end of the world. And of what? And of the end of the world. Sisters, y'all got knowledge about, about the Libra and the Taurus. Give me some knowledge about when Christ coming back. Give me some knowledge about that. It's the same thing that we that went on back then. It's going on right now, right here in Oakland. It's the same thing. Y'all got knowledge on that, but give me knowledge on how to please God. Give me knowledge on that. Somebody do it. Come on, give me some knowledge how to please God. Yes, give me some knowledge. Yes. Okay. That's what you believe, sister. Christ said, come back as a man, sister. But no, he said in the Old Testament, he said that a man cannot die for him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all praises, all praises. Give me Hebrews 5 real quick, man. All right, sisters, all right, sisters. We're going to deal with y'all. We're going to deal with y'all because y'all are people and we love y'all. We're going to deal with y'all. Give me Hebrews 5 12. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12 For when the time ye ought to be teachers Read that again For when the time ye ought to be teachers We think we are ready to teach Hold on sister, sister, one second Sister, sister, one second I'm going to deal with that Just give me, just be patient Just be patient sister, be patient Be patient I'll be patient Read it again For when for the time ye ought to be teachers Ye have need that one teach you again. What we all got to understand is that we got to be retaught. We got to be retaught. Read. Which be the first principles of the oracles of God. Give me Job 8 and 8. Who's that? 30 and 30? 30 and 30? Yeah. Give me that. Give me Job. Job 30 and 30? Teach him up. Job 8 and 8. Give me Job 8 and 8. Yep, Job chapter 8 verse 8 For inquire I pray thee Of the former age 
and prepare thyself to the search of their father. So what we got to understand is that, sisters and brothers, we got to prepare ourselves for the search of our fathers. Who are we? Who are we? Because for a long time we say we Haitian, which is false. We say we African American, which is false. We say we Jamaican, which is false. We got to learn who we are before we can learn anything about the deepness of the Bible. We have to learn our origin so that we know where to go. We know how to not make the same mistakes. Y'all understand? Y'all understand? How you doing, sister? How you doing? No, it's not, sister. Today, I'm going to tell you, the reason why it's wrong, because they ain't worshiping the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And number two, they ain't supposed to be sacrificing. Let's get that real quick. Get that real quick. Christ was the last sacrifice. We ain't supposed to be sacrificing no more. So they ain't sacrificing to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They sacrificing to their own gods that they believe is gods, which is actually wrong. Read that. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 1 For the law having a shadow of good things to come and not the very image of the things can never with those sacrifices which they offered those what? With those sacrifices which they offered So when it says the law it's talking about the law of sacrifice with those sacrifices which they offered year by year Year by year just like you said sister in the Old Testament they was offered sacrifice Watch this can never with those sacrifices which they offer year by year continually make the comers there are too perfect. God says those sacrifices can make you perfect. Read. For then would they not have ceased to be offered? Because that the worshippers once purged, once purged, meaning you sacrifice for sin, should have had no more conscience of sin. And after you sacrifice, you shouldn't be sinning no more. We don't. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance, again, made of sins every year. That's why sacrifice had to be done away with. Because you were sacrificed for sin and then still sin again. We don't. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats sacrificing should take away sins. Wherefore, when he cometh... When he cometh, talk about Jesus Christ. When he cometh... When he cometh into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body. But what? But a body. Sister, that's why Christ had to die for the nation of Israel. But a body. A body had to be sacrificed for sin. Read, read that again. But a body has thou prepared me in burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin. Thou has had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will. To do what? To do thy will. It was God's will that Christ came in a man's body and to die for the nation of Israel. It was God's will. Sacrifices no more, sister. We're not supposed to be sacrificing no more. So the, our brothers and sisters in Haiti that sacrificing, they're not supposed to be doing that. God says don't do that. Me. John chapter 1 verse 29. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the lamb. The what? The lamb. What was a lamb made for? To do what? When the priest in the Old Testament sacrifice. It says what? Read it again. Behold, the lamb of God. Christ was the lamb of God, meaning he was that sacrifice for the nation of Israel forever. That's right. That's why the law of sacrifice had to be done away with. Right. So our brothers and sisters in Haiti, they shouldn't be sacrificing. Because God says that the blood of bulls and goats cannot make you perfect. The only way that you could be perfect is by accepting Christ as your Lord and Savior and keeping the commandments. That's right. 
Sister, that's the Bible. Christian, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna say why it's not Christianity. Christianity don't tell you to keep God's commandments. Right. <laughs> Christianity celebrate Easter. Bring it up. Christianity celebrate Christmas. Right. Christianity celebrate birthdays. Right. The Bible say don't do that. Yeah, but I, I not say you, I say Christianity. That's what makes us different. We ain't Christianity. We are Christians. We are followers of Christ who know who we are. And we keep God's commandments. Give me first John chapter two. Chapter two, I think it's verse four. First John chapter two, verse four. So, so y'all got any more questions? So hold on before y'all leave, real quick. Before y'all leave, real quick. Read that. I, I gotta bring some out. First John chapter two, verse four. He that said, I know him. And keepeth not his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. Read verse 3. Verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. We know that we know Jesus Christ. If we keep his commandment. If we do what? If we keep his commandment. Today is a Sabbath day, sisters. Do y'all know that? Bring it out. All praises. Okay, so what are you supposed to do on the Sabbath? I didn't. That, that's not the Bible. Right. <laughs> I don't praise. I don't praise. You ain't supposed to be. You ain't supposed to no cooking, no buying, no selling, right? Is that who? Is this one of your daughter? That's your daughter. So I'm gonna ask you a question. Why are you dressed modest, but she isn't? Teach him up. That's my question. Huh? Huh? Okay. So what is God? We are gonna get what God say, okay? So hold on, so do you know that? Yes, we wasn't naked, sister. No, we wasn't. No. <laughs> Let's read that. Let's read that. <laughs> Give me first Timothy 2. Sister, we wasn't naked, sister. We was not naked. Watch this. Watch this. We read first, first Timothy 2 and 9. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. But but, but sister, we we just teaching y'all, that's all. We just teaching y'all. But sister, you keeping the commandments without even knowing. Right. So yes, <laughs> you keeping God's commandments without knowing. Read. First Timothy chapter two verse nine. Sister, sister, God is a God of order. Right, right. Everything got to be done decent in order. Right. You can't do one and forget the other one. Right. Read. In like manner also that that women adorn themselves. And modest apparel. God says women gotta adorn themselves. Adorn means to dress. Right. We had clothes, sister. Right. Adorn in modest apparel. We don't. In modest apparel. With same faces. Hey, what, sister? No, God wrote these. Right. Let's get that real quick. Give me that Exodus, bro. Right. God wrote these commandments. Teach them up. God wrote these commandments. That's right. Ain't nobody shaving? Who shaved? Who shaved? Ain't no wrong with that. Show me a law that said we can't shake, we can't tape our hair. That's not a Bible, sister. Sister, you gotta be retaught. You gotta be retaught. Read that. Come on. Watch this, sister. 31 18. Come on. Exodus chapter 31, verse 18. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communion with him upon Mount Sinai. Two tables of testimony. He gave unto Moses. Read. Two tables of testimony. Tables of stone. Written, what? Written with the finger of God. That's Man didn't write these commandments. Read that last part again. Wait, written oh, yeah. with the finger of God. That's God wrote right. the commandments. That's right. Sister, not Nana, right? Nana? Who is this? Who is that? Huh? This, you absolutely right. Who is that, sister? A man. You know about Jesus? What did Jesus look like? What did Jesus look like? Jesus is a real man. Jesus is a real man. Sisters, y'all bugging. Jesus is a real man. Believe, hey, hey, I can't make you believe. I can't make you believe. He's God the Son. He's God the Son. What you mean who's the mother? What are you worried about? Him? <laughs> Christ had an earthly mother, yes. Yeah, we all got earthly mothers and fathers. Yes, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm not gonna divert. I'm talking to Sister Nana. Right. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Sister Nana. Who is Jesus Christ? Huh? I, I can't hear you. And you're not wrong. You're not wrong about that. So in order to find out the source of who he is, 
we got to read it from the Bible. Right. Is that is that correct? Right, the, the, the God, the Bible was written by God. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. So let's go to the source of who Jesus is. Let's read. Read that. Revelations, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Sister Nana, you hear this? The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation is the revealing of who Jesus is, Sister Nana. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants Things which must shortly come to pass. Things that must shortly come to pass. Well, read verse 14. Watch this, Nana. Verse 14. His head and his hair, Jesus' head and his, hold that sign up. Jesus' head and his hairs on his head were white like wool. The Bible said Jesus had white woolly hair. That's right. Who got woolly hair today, Sister Nana? Who got woolly hair? We do. Right. We got woolly hair. Yes, right. But the other nations say, ah, oh, that's nappy nigga hair. God says that's beautiful. Right. Because the greatest man that ever walked the earth, believe it or not, look just like you, sister. Right. That's right. You are beautiful. Right. Jesus and you look just alike. Right. <laughs> we don't. As white as snow. As white as snow. Watch this. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet, and his feet, Sister Nana, his, Jesus Christ's feet, read, as if, as if, and his feet, unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brown, read. As if they burn, if they what? As if they burn, if they what? Burn, read on, in a furnace. Christ was so black that like he was burned in a furnace. That's right. Sister, Sister Nana. Christ was so black, it's like he burned in a furnace. Right. Christ was a black man. That's That's right. Right. Christ was a black man. Yes. So, sister, if the greatest man to ever walk the earth had woolly hair, that means you, sister Nana, you should be glad to wear your woolly hair. That's right. That's right. You shouldn't be putting weave in that. You shouldn't be putting purple hair in your head. Right. Your hair is the same hair as the greatest man to walk the earth. Right. Let, let, right. Let's get the father real quick. Let's get the father. Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. The Ancient of Days is God the Father, meaning he's before the days are. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. Whose garment was white as snow, so he had a body. And the hair of his head, Sister Nana, the hair of God the Father's head, like the pure wool. Even God the Father is a black man. That's right. So what you got to understand, Sister Nana, is that because of slavery, because of captivity, we have gotten so low. Our self-esteem is so low. But sister, I'm telling you, you a beautiful Israelite woman. A beautiful Israelite little girl. And Christ looked just like you. You should, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You should embrace your woolly hair. Right. You should embrace your skin color. Right. You should embrace the fact that you are an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. That's, right. That's what you got to do. The truth of Christ is coming out. Right. Remember, we going to the source. Believe it or not. Y'all don't got to believe in it, but we tell you, Jesus walked the earth. Right. And he looked just like you. Right. And you know, it's crazy. we believe in Black Panther. Right. We'll go to Black Panther. We say, man, oh, we so empowered now. Wakanda forever. Right. But we telling you, the realest man to ever walk the earth, a God on the earth walked and he looked just like you. Black Panther is fictional. Right. Jesus is reality. That's right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org